Today in Nityananda TV News, morning satsang with Paramahamsa Nityananda. Grand celebrations worldwide on the 36th Jayanti celebrations of Paramahamsa Nityananda. U.S. court dismisses with prejudice case of Papat Lal K. Savla vs. Nityananda Foundation. And Harvard and the Kumila. Nithyanandam and welcome to Nithyananda TV News for Friday, January 18, 2013. Now for today's top stories. <laughs> Morning satsang with living incarnation Paramahamsa Nithyananda and the Nirahara Samima enters the second day of the third level today. Upcoming inner awakening dates are February 17th to March 9th in Tamil and along with N Genius, March 13th to April 2nd in English. See innerawakening.org and the milestone today of Gurukul students levitating along with Kundalini awakening as the science of making God starts expressing physically. Still, still justify your inauthenticities. Raise your hand. So for all of you, Maya is infinite. Just now I made a statement, I also do the same. With only one small twist, I know any moment I can remove this twist. The identity which I am showing as an incarnation hood is a twist with which I have to play for you to understand that twist. The body I am carrying is not infinite. The being I am projecting to you is not infinite. The being I feel is infinite. The being I am projecting to you is not infinite. That is what I mean. Even this form is not ultimate. When you come near, I'll... See, this rubber band looks now infinite. This is not infinite. What far it is shown like infinite when you come near, this infinite will be shown to you and the science will be shown to you how to make this a zero again. When you end from my one end of listening to my words, the infinite will be shown. When you travel, 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 travel towards me, the zero will be shown. By then you will know the science of moving from infinite to zero. That is what Krishna means when he says, if you know me, you will be liberated. If you know my zero, you will become zero. Are you listening? You did not catch it. I will give you the example. Yesterday I declared a statement. Jnana Sammandha does not talk about any food. About any food item. Jnana Sammandha gave me a darshan and told me, I do not have a food pattern, so I never sang anything of food pattern in me, in my verses. I declared that. But Tamil department, publication department discovered some five references where he speaks about, he mentions the word sugar can, banana, eh, mango and the rice grain. Rice grain. Five places, five or six references they brought. You understand? Now, what do you will think? The Swamiji's vision 
of jnana sambandar is not authentic. Is it not? That is where you have to land, come to the conclusion. But when I went to the room and read the printout line by line, I was so happy. I tell you, I was so happy. I discovered what Jnana Samandar said is a complete truth, honest truth. He lived without any food pattern in his whole life because all five names of the food items he is using just to refer their colors never as an eatable product. Understand? When he sees mango, he remembers the color of yellow. He is using the example of mango not for the taste, color of yellow. When he is talking about sugar can, he is not using for the uh, taste of the sugar can, the height of the sugar can. Five eatable, edible products he is using. Not even once he is mentioning related to food pattern. Do you understand? God, what he said is true. What Jnana Samandar said is true. How many of you read those lines? All the five lines. All the five references. Take it and put it in the website today. Read all the five references. Nowhere is connecting that product to the taste. Grand celebrations worldwide on the 36th Jayanti celebrations of Paramahamsa Nityananda. On January 6, 2013, the 36th birthday of Paramahamsa Nityananda was celebrated with immense joy and fervor by devotees and disciples worldwide. The Avatar Day witnessed busloads of devotees from various parts of the country thronging to his birthplace, Tiruvannamalai, Tamil Nadu, where Paramahamsa Nityananda blessed one and all. The devotees from thousands of international locations joined the celebrations as well on video conferencing facilities. Paramahamsa Nityananda in his birthday message emphasized the importance of each human being living his or her life with authenticity, integrity and responsibility. He explained how keeping up and living the word we give people to ourselves is the basic requirement of life. He also expanded on the subtle but powerful truth of how we are responsible not only for the identity we project to the world about ourselves but also for the perception and opinion people have about us. He explained how this feeling of responsibility makes you feel empowered in life, thereby enabling one to create the world one wants through one's words, instead of making the world create words in us, making us feel powerless and surprised by situations life throws at us. He categorically stated spiritual strength alone can solve everything in life, and not the power of money or politics. Hence, he exhorted people to live life with integrity, authenticity, and responsibility. And of course, thousands of free meals for all visitors were served repeatedly and continuously throughout the day at Tiruvannamalai Ashram. <laughs> Los Angeles, California, on January 10, 2013, a U.S. federal court dismissed with prejudice the entire case of Papatlal K. Savla v. Nithinanda Foundation et al., all claims have been dismissed and the matter has been resolved. Oh. And Harvard and the Kumela, the Wall Street Journal article. An estimated 10 million people bathed in the Ganga on Monday, the first day of the ongoing Maha Kumela at Allahabad. It is billed as the biggest single religious gathering in the world. Behind the massive show of religious devotion is a quiet secular machine that services the millions who pour into Allahabad for the Kumelas. The details are mind-boggling. The crowd on the main days is large enough to be visible from space satellites. Some 25,000 tons of food grains are sent to feed the pilgrims. About 700,000 tents are erected to house the visitors. Pipes have to be laid so that clean drinking water is available. A temporary super specialty hospital has been built for anybody who falls seriously sick. 31 police stations and 41 police checkposts have come up to maintain law and order. 
massive television screens flash information about missing people, 36 fire stations will get into the act in case there's a conflagration. The entire effort is so unique that it has attracted the attention of Harvard University. Six of its departments are collaborating to understand the cum laude phenomenon. The Faculty of Arts and Sciences, Harvard Divinity School, Harvard Graduate School of Design, Harvard Business School, Harvard Medical School, and the Harvard School of Public Health. The South Asia Institute at Harvard notes on its website, a temporary city is created every 12 years at Lalabad to house the Kumela's many pilgrims. This city is laid out on a grid, constructed and deconstructed within a matter of weeks. Within the grid, multiple aspects of contemporary urbanism come to fruition, including spatial zoning and electricity grid, food and water distribution, physical infrastructure construction, mass vaccinations, public gathering spaces, and nighttime social events. The mega city that magically pops up at Allahabad during the Kumbh Mela is as large as New York, London, and Paris combined. The sheer scale of the effort shows that the Indian state machinery Usually a creaking mess can be galvanized into action when there is the will to do something. The lack of state capacity is one of the weak links in the Indian development effort, and the recent New Delhi rape highlighted its inability to even adequately perform its basic duty of prote protecting citizens. What happens in Allahabad during the Kumela is thus a ray of hope because it demonstrates that a massive city can be built, managed and dismantled in a few weeks if only such administrative excellence were allowed in our permanent cities. <laughs> That's all from Nityananda TV News for now. Thank you for joining us and let us end our news with a bliss dose from the Avatar. Surrender is stretching yourself to my Anyakara about you. We'll see you next time on Nityananda TV News. Nithyanandam! Nithyanandam!